Hello, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 363. That is, what is the difference between verification testing and validation testing? Let me answer. So what is the difference between verification testing and validation testing? Coming to the verification testing, okay, it's nothing but we are checking whether we are building the correct system or not. Okay, so if the client is asking for this circle to be developed and if the developers are delivering the square box, is that a good thing? No, right? So if the client is asking for circle, developers also should deliver the circle itself. Okay, they should not deliver the square. So here as part of verification testing, we check whether we are building the right system that is correct system or not, whatever the client has asked that we are building or not is tested as part of the verification testing. But coming to the validation testing, but coming to the validation testing, here we are checking whether the system that is built is working fine or not. Here we are not checking for the correctness of the application. Okay, according to the client uh, requirement, whether we have developed is not the case here. Coming to validation testing, whether the developed functionality Okay, whether the developed functionality is working or not. Is it working or not? Whether the functionality is working or not. But here, whether the, okay, okay, whether we are building the correct system or not, correct application or not, whatever the client is asking, are we building the same or not, is verification. But is the developed thing working or not, functioning or not, is validation testing. So, so hope guys, at a high level, you got what is verification testing, what is validation testing. Now let me take a real world example in these two things, okay? So uh, in the previous sessions also I covered this, uh, but let me cover again as a uh, question is demanding. Let's say this is a source uh, source location and uh, this is a destination location, okay? Now you as a person have to travel on your car from the source location to the this particular destination location that you don't know. So what you generally do guys, if you don't know the route, you will open. Google Maps. Everyone does the same thing, right? So we open that Google Maps. Some route is there that this route, how to go from the source location to the destination location, we don't know. So we have to open the Google Maps. So in our mobile phone, okay, we'll open the Google Maps and the Google Maps will enter the source location and destination location like this. We enter the source location and destination location and Google Maps will give you a route. It will give you this route. Okay, this route you have to follow in order to reach your destination like that. Now, so this is your car. This is your car. Okay, let's say this is your car and you, you have not started it. But before you started from the source location to destination in Google Maps, you entered the destination and source and destination and it has given you route. Now you want before you started journey to the destination before you started your car, you want to check whether this suggested route by the Google Maps is correct or not. This is called as verification. Are you planning to drive in a correct route that is suggested by the Google Maps or not is known as verification. This is verification guys. You are verifying whether the Google Maps is giving a correct route or not. You will zoom out zone in and, uh, and check whether uh, the route is correct proper route or not. But you have not started using the route here. Whatever the Google Maps suggested route is there, uh, you are on your car, but you have not started your car and utilizing this route. Before you started only, you are checking whether I'm going to go in a correct path or not, correct route or not. That is called as verification. Now, you started your car and whatever the left, right, left, right, left, right uh, Google Maps is saying, you went and you reached your destination, let's say. And this, you are utilizing the route. Okay, you are checking whether the suggested route is working or not. That is validation. Okay, if you have started your journey and using the route suggested by Google Maps and taking the directions left, right, and using the map suggested route and have reached the destination or whatever it is, that is called as okay, whether the route is working or not, whether the route is helping me in reaching the destination or not is validation. So hope guys, you got the real world example. Uh, real world example. Let's convert that into software. In software, here you are checking whether you are going to build the correct system or not, correct application or not. Here you are checking whether the the system that got built already 
is working or not, whether it is functioning or not. For example, login functionality is developed. Already developers have developed as, uh, here. And, but when you enter the username, password, and click on the login button, that login button is not working. That is a validation check, which is a failure. Okay. Verification is correctly it has been built or not. Correctly, we are going to build or not. Okay. So, this verification testing is performed. Okay. When the software is not yet developed, software is not ready, guys. Okay. When the software is not available for testing, then only you are performing the testing. How it is possible? How to test a particular thing which is not yet ready? Not yet developed it. Developers have not developed built the software, but still you can perform verification testing to see whether we are going to build the correct system or not. Okay. This is not always done by testers, guys. Both developers and testers will do this verification testing. Both the developers and testers will do the verification testing. And this verification is not done on the software because software is not yet developed. So what will be there when the software is not there? We'll have different type of documents like a BRS document, requirement document, design document, test plan, test cases, traceability matrix, the code that is written by developers, but it's not yet not uh, in a state where uh, the software is developed. Okay, so all this documents and code will be there, guys. We are checking this code. We are examining this requirement document to see all the requirements provided in this BRS document are correct or not. We are examining the designs and seeing whether the designs are correct or not. Test plans are, uh, are prepared properly on a test cases, which will be used for testing are written correctly or not. Like that you are checking. Uh, code reviews will be done, okay? To see whether proper code, proper uh, way of writing the code is done. For building the application or uh, by checking all this stuff okay if these are verified properly automatically using this only developers are going to build the software ultimately what will happen if these are correct the software which is going to be built up also will be correct will be delivering the right software hope you are able to understand what is verification testing but how these documents will be checked or examined or tested or verified how they will be done in the form of static analysis and reviews two types Static analysis and reviews. Static analysis will be done on the code. Code will be whatever the code that is written but cannot be executed, guys. This code will not be executed. In verification testing, we will not be running the code. The code will be given as an input to the static analysis tools like SonarCube and many tool, many other tools are there in the market. The tool will simply scan the code and give you the suggestions like uh, what are the best practices you have to still follow, uh, like uh, whether you have followed the standards or not, all those stuff, okay? Any security problems are there. Uh, is there any improvements we have to make in while writing the code? Okay, better way of writing the code is done or not like static analysis will be done. And coming to the reviews, there are different type of reviews guys. Okay, here different documents and code will be reviewed using this different type of reviews. Walkthroughs which are uh, informal reviews, inspections which are formal reviews, code reviews which are generally done by the senior. Seniors will do the review for the juniors, okay, to see whether juniors are writing the proper code or not. Pair programming where two people will be, two developers will be sitting side by side and one one will be writing, other person will be reviewing the code and they will be interchanging their roles later. Technical reviews. Here a technical expert will be reviewing these documents or code, whatever it is, okay? So this is how, guys, these documents will be verified, uh, checked, tested to see if these are tested properly, automatically we'll be building the right system, okay? That's the funda. This verification testing falls into the static testing category, guys, okay? It falls into which category? Static testing category because here we are testing these documents without running the code. Here code is there, but we are not running while checking testing. Okay, testing done without running the code. Static testing. Okay, so verification testing also same thing is uh, here. All the testing process will be done without running the code. Okay, we'll be simply checking the document to see the rightness of the building of the application. Okay, so that is verification testing and coming to the validation testing. Okay. Validation testing here in verification testing software is not yet developed and we are doing the verification testing with these documents and all but in validation testing software need to be ready guys and should be ready for testing software should be already built then only we can do the validation testing okay software should be built it's also not always done by the tester guys here developers and uh, testers will both do the validation testing similar to the verification testing so uh, you remember the different levels of testing, right? There are different levels of testing like unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and user acceptance testing. All these come under the validation test. <laughs> While unit testing and integration testing are done are done by the developers, okay? These are white box testing category. Unit testing and integration will fall into the white box testing category, which in which where the developers will be able to view the code, access the code, test the code, okay? 
but coming to system testing here software testers once the software is uh, visually uh, is ready with the visual graphical user interface okay in all these cases the code will be running guys okay the code is running in unit testing you have to run a piece of code in integration testing you have to uh, run the group of logically integrated units together system testing the uh, entire whole system will be integrated and given to you and you will be performing system testing as a whole using the graphical user interface of the software the software testers will do user acceptance testing also the same thing guys Gra complete graphical user interface should be there and end users or client side business people have to do as part of alpha or beta testing under user acceptance testing so here in all these cases the code will be running guys okay so as part of validation testing we'll be checking whether the the application is working or not the functionality of the application is working or not here it is not about the correctness of the building of the software here it is about whether the built software functionalities are working or not okay that can be done using unit integration system and user acceptance guys okay and it falls into the dynamic testing category because in all these levels of testing including unit testing also we have to run the code integration also we have to run the code system testing indirectly when you use a graphical user interface the background the code will be running user acceptance testing also same thing while you are using the graphical user interface in the background the code will be running okay so hence validation testing falls into the dynamic testing category because code will be running okay verification falls into the static testing category because your code is not running and still we are checking the documents and seeing whether the correct system is getting built or not okay fine here system right that is functioning or not okay so hope guys you understood the difference between verification and validation testing in this session so that's all for this session the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye